And a little bit closer to home, MTN's Andy Johnson takes a look at how the COVID-19 pandemic is spilling over into the local tourism industry. Tourism is a big part of the local economy here in Bozeman, but for other smaller neighboring areas, it can make or break their local economy. And with everything going on with this pandemic, it can be a huge hit to the tourism industry. We are now planning not to open until May 15th at the earliest. Normally we're open by the last week in April. The owner of L Western Cabins and Lodges in Ennis is experiencing what so many other business owners in the tourism industry are facing. Cancellation after cancellation. Uh, the refund started going out right around the middle of March and they haven't stopped. We haven't taken any new reservations if for at least two weeks. And the effects trickle down to the residents. In Bozeman, it could mean higher prices. It will mean higher taxes down the road because the less businesses you have open, the less property tax you have coming in. Um, those things all have multitude effects that are coming in. For communities who rely on tourism from Yellowstone, the damage can be devastating. What we expect will be absolutely predicated on when Yellowstone is able to open. The issue will be how fast that can happen and um, you know the, the extent to which it can reopen. And time is crucial because a lot of tourism businesses only have a couple of months during the year to operate. You're looking at a lot of businesses that really make their money and living between June, July, August, and September. And with stay-at-home orders being extended across the country, this pandemic could have lasting effects on the tourism industry. Reporting in and around Bozeman, Annie Johnson, MTN News.